Welcome back, guys. Equity Podcast. Barrick here with Dave Jenkins. What's up, guys? <laughs> All right. Uh, last, about 14 weeks ago, uh, 15 weeks ago, we started talking about what the cycle was that we were working on, and the, the focus was strength. Right? We were trying to get strong, and we're wrapping that up. Um, and we're going to start moving into the next iteration or the next cycle that we're going to be working on. And we're going to break down what we're working on and why. But before we get there, we're going to talk about just our overall arching plan for the year and how we treat stuff. And just, just as a quick recap. All right. Um, so what are, we, what are we trying to do over the year, Dave? Yeah, so as the uh, open and individual quarterfinals ended um, we moved into that strength cycle just to build that absolute strength so we talked about those basic strength lifts uh, we had that structured progression that allowed us to uh, work toward you know working from higher rep uh, structure to a low, to a lower rep heavier weight structure and now we see all these people hitting these PRs so I think yeah. something was working pretty well it seems like yeah. um, and now that we've gotten through that, the idea is to take that strength and apply it to uh, the remainder of the year uh, with a couple of sort of mini cycles remaining or, or, or uh, micro cycles remaining. Um, so the next thing we want to do is parlay that absolute strength into training for the other elements of what we do here, which yep. is our Olympic lifting, our gymnastics, and building that general muscular endurance. Yeah. And, you know, we're trying to build power. Like, that's the mm -hmm. big one. Like, power and skill in that next one. Yeah. And then for the rest of the year, so, you know, we're going to be going through that, that you know, the power time. And that's what we're going to spend most of our time talking about in just a little bit. Um, what's the that end of the year looking like as well? Yeah, so we'll, we'll kind of run with the, the approach that we're going to be taking uh, now, probably through the end of October or so. Then November, December, we'll be looking into increasing uh, that conditioning, uh, work capacity, uh, which then kind of morphs directly into open prep. Yeah. And especially for those that are thinking about competing in the open and so yeah. forth. And yeah, when, so when we start getting close to that open, it's like, hey, you know, we're going to be working on power and skills right now. But right, like when we start getting really close to that open, it's like, hey, one toes of bar is better than none. Right. So right. <laughs> let's just get one of something. Uh, if we haven't gotten it already. All right, so that's kind of like our overall strength, power, kind of conditioning, or, you know, trying to like general CrossFit more or less, and then we get into like conditioning and skill acquisition right there towards the open. Absolutely, yeah. So so the next several months will kind of look like traditional CrossFit programming, but there is this, this concept built into it. Yeah. You know, we have this absolute strength that we spent 14 weeks building, uh, then there are other, other elements of strength that we have to try to attack. So that would be things like that, that power and explosive strength, mm -hmm. right? Then we have that strength endurance, you know, so we're, the ability to move loads over longer time domains. Yep. And then we have that relative strength that's required to move our body weight around, right? So the idea is, is that you build up that absolute strength and then that kind of then translates into those other yeah. aspects of strength that, that are then going to help us with our other CrossFit right elements, right? There's other movements. Yeah, so, you know, in general, throughout the year, we're going to be doing constantly varied functional movements sure. at a relatively high intensity, mm -hmm. but each section, we're going to have a very slight bias towards something else, right? So we, yeah. we've built up all this absolute strength, and now let's learn how to use it. Absolutely. Let's start putting it into practice in a in a even more uh, real way. All right, so what... What exactly are we going to be using? What exactly are we going to be expecting in this next, yeah, so next setup? So to approach our power and our explosive strength, um, things such as Olympic lifting, so obviously the snatch, clean, jerk, and all the variants, you know, things such as push presses, push jerks, uh, front squatting, overhead squatting. So doing those uh, at moderate, moderate to heavy weights will allow us to build that explosive power for those heavier lifts, right? That uh, when you have to get that one, two, or three heavy reps in there. And then we'll also be kind of morphing that into uh, barbell cycling a little bit later as we get closer to the open right. prep, which is sort of looking at power from a different perspective. It's how long can you move that load, right? How quickly can you move uh, 
the bar 20 times or 30 times, right? Which yeah. is, as we know in the open, that's a very common thing. So it's so, like it's like the like the difference between like when when we're talking about hey we're gonna be focusing on power it's like explosiveness mm -hmm. might be a better word for it mm -hmm. and then like when we start getting towards the tail end of that cycle it's power in how CrossFit defines it or how like force power like how how much right. power output right. are we putting out over the course of a workout if we're doing grace we're using the same weight but if we can do grace faster yes. we were more powerful. Right. Gotcha. And then that's sort of that's sort of uh, synonym, you know, a synonym to power in it, you know, in our space is intensity, right? right? Intensity and power basically mean the same thing. So right. if you do grace in three minutes, it's a more intense workout than if you do it in six minutes, right? Yep. You're generating more power. And then you also use things like uh, plyometric movements, like those explosive or high box jumps, right? right. To help to help develop that power. Our body weight movements like push ups, you know, if we can do those push ups. At a faster pace, right? We're yeah. we're, de we're developing that explosive yeah. power in our arms and, and upper body and so forth. So uh, we'll still be doing that sort of thing. And really, when you're talking about the movements, you know, the movements are kind of the same across whatever training cycle you're doing. It's just how you implement them that kind of uh, determines what the you know what the outcome is. Right. You know. So you know during during just to kind of really give in. A, a, some specific examples you know the last 14 weeks 15 weeks it's been four lifts for the week mm -hmm. you know, we have one day of just a workout and generally that's going to be a little bit of a longer workout mm -hmm. so like um, you know in, in a week like what 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 could we kind of expect for that yeah so so we'll still be doing some of those longer workouts especially now that we don't have that dedicated time for the strength program so when you're talking about like a muscular endurance workout you're talking about so like next week for example we're gonna have a 21 15 9 structure with front squats and then uh, advanced burpee based gymnastics right so we'll be a burpee bar muscle up burpee chest to bar burpee pull up uh, so that would fall into that category of strength endurance right you're gonna be moving a barbell for a lot of reps you're gonna do it in a specified time domain uh, while coupling that with advanced gymnastics right so yeah. it's really gonna tax them the, the muscular endurance a um, little bit of a longer time domain than the eight to 12 minute workouts we've been doing after our strength sessions. Yeah. Um, then on a different day, we might attack uh, you know, power by doing an Olympic lifting session. So maybe it'll be, let's start the day off by doing five sets of three snatches, right? With increasing weight, right? So then we're talking there about developing the power, moving the barbell for smaller sets, right? right. Um, so, so we'll still get that variation in terms of intensity, time domain, and, and, and modal uh, yeah. mix, you know, the, our, our modal approach but it's, it's still going to be that kind of varied um, process that we've been doing yeah. so I, I kind of see like three like three like takeaways from that it's like one is we're not going to be seeing as much um, you're, you're not going to be seeing four days of a specific movement right it's probably going to be more like one to three days Right uh, on a really heavy week, it might be up to three of strength work, power work, skill work, something like that, or it could just be one on that certain week. Right. Um, so th that's kind of like the one uh, is there's just going to be less of that time. Uh, on two, what that means is there's going to be some more metcon time that we might have some longer domains. But even if it is a shorter domain, um, that might just be an eight minute workout, but that day. So sure. we're going to have some more flexibility in our lesson plans to start adding some more cool downs and start adding some stretching and some mobility work and then I think the biggest change will be in the amount of coaching that we're able to do oh absolutely right yeah. like the coach if, if we have a 12 to 15 minute workout and we don't have a strength piece along with that we're really going to be able to spend a lot of time focusing on building those skills instead of saying all right guys we have toes of bar today Let's do some kips. Let's hit some uh, toes to waist. Let's do some toes of bar. All right, you have them or you don't. Whereas now we can start developing that and just be like, all right, we're gonna do and we're gonna spend some time. This isn't even planned as a like we're gonna spend some time just doing toes of bar, right? Hey guys, we're gonna hit a set of five toes of bar or some version of that um, just to warm up for the next five minutes, right? We're just gonna hit like basically like an impromptu imam, like that type yeah. of thing is gonna happen more. Um, 
and you're going to get much more hands-on coaching now because it's not just getting all that in. Not to say that we weren't coaching before, sure, yeah. but now we can really focus on those skills and really refining them. Yeah, because a lot of the things we were doing before, you know, when we had that dedicated time for the strength lifts, now we're going to be doing those those uh, mixed modal metcons, right? I like to call them strength or skill metcons, right? Yeah. Where you actually integrate the strength movement and or the skill movement, the gymnastics movement, right into the metcon. Yeah. Um, so even if you have a you know, 20 minute workout, which is a, you know, on the longer side of, of, of our time domains, you still have plenty of time at the beginning of class to, to work on the skill, to, yeah. to warm up that strength and so forth. So, and yeah, so it doesn't I mean we're not going to be doing strength anymore, it just means it, might not, it won't be as much of that dedicated, yeah, you know, right. it's just not gonna pretty be, structured yes. thing at the beginning of class. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the other things is when, when you have to design a workout that has both a strength piece and a metcon in it, mm -hmm. that metcon can only be so complex, right? Right. If you're adding complexity to a workout that already has a strength movement in it, like there's just not enough time. No. You can't coach all of that. So the past 14 weeks, you've been very um, intentional with designing workouts that aren't overly complicated right. in order to allow us to get through class in a reasonable amount of time. Like people right. have lives, we need to get them in and out. So now we can start bringing in some more complexity into those workouts and really start working on those skills. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so what else do we need to know about this next cycle? Is there anything that we, that we left out? Well, I would say that just kind of, you know, as opposed to coming in, you know, for the past 14 weeks where we had everything sort of pre-structured, you know, you know that for the first 15 or 20 minutes of class, we're going to be doing this lift, yeah. and then, we'll, as you said, we'll be doing a shorter... Yeah, it's uh, like warm-up, five-minute warm-up, Yeah. 18-minute uh, yeah. strength, transition, specific, yeah. and, then the, and then the workout, like every class was like that, yeah. exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're going to be getting all the elements um, in the next this next cycle. It's just from from the user's perspective, it won't be as obvious what the underlying uh, goals and objectives of yeah. the of, of the yeah. program are. They'll sort of be baked in or built into the process. Much more variance. Much more variance and and uh, much more uh, blending. You know, I, I think I used the term on one of our previous podcasts kind of blur the line between strength and conditioning, right? Yeah. So that's exactly what you're going to see, right? You might see bench press and rowing in the same workout, or you might see running and back squats in the yeah. same workout, right? Or, you know, it, it, you're still getting the all of the elements, but instead of separating them out into in, into uh, to pieces, we'll be kind of blending them together. Love it. But I think I think the uh, I think everybody's going to really enjoy the workouts yeah. that, that we come up with. Yeah. We're going to start getting a little 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 more variance, a little more very, very crossfit. It's going to be crossfit right? It's going to be doing all the things, you know, and uh, and getting ready for... Uh, I, I think the last thing that I wanted to bring up is, you know, we're, we talked about power. That's one of the types of things that we're working on. And, you know, another word for power is speed, mm -hmm. right? It's power and speed. And if we're thinking about the 10 general physical skills, right, we have organic. That's the things that you have to physically train, right? Cardio, strength flexibility and uh, stamina, mm -hmm. right? Those are things that you have to train. Then you have your neurological, you have balance, accuracy, agility, coordination. And, and coordination, mm -hmm. right? Those are, you need to connect neurons. And then the last two are power and speed. And those are a combination of both training, the, the organic side and then the neurological side. Yeah. And that is, this is exactly why we said power and skill is, it, it's strength and skill coming together is going to create power and speed. Right. You need both. Sure. And we focused on that before, and now we need to start working on that skill. And that's why, like, coaching, having more coaching in class is going to help us really develop that. To use the skill to allow us to use our power. What we see all the time, for example, is people pulling too early. And you're like, well, for what movement? For every mm -hmm. movement. Right. It, it doesn't matter. For it. Cleans, swings, rowing, uh, muscle ups. Everybody pulls too early, and when you pull too early, you're losing you all power. the power of your hips, right? Yeah. So being able to focus on things like that is really going to help us kind of start really accelerating in across the board. And what that also tells you too is is that 
these things are all interrelated, right? You get better at a snatch, you'll also get better at pull ups, exactly, and muscle ups, right. and all that good stuff, right? So developing power in one area, yeah, will push it in the other. Yeah, awesome. All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions for us, let me know. Um, we'll make sure to uh, do our very best to answer those. So just kind of put that below. Um, if you uh, um, think this would help anybody else, be like, hey, like these aren't just some weird guys, weird people doing random stuff. Like there's actually a method to the madness. Share it with somebody. Be like, ah, they all know what they're doing over there. Um, like there's actually some method to the madness when, that we're doing here. So share it with uh, those that are like, uh, you guys are crazy. And uh, thank you guys. We appreciate it. All right, take care, guys. Cheers.